Ja se zovem Fra Frano Dušaj, Franivac. My name is Father Frano Dušaj. I'm a Franciscan of St. Joseph's province in Zadar. I was born here near Tuzi at a place called Arza on 24th January 1960. I come from a very devout family that has been close to the Franciscans for more than a hundred years. My late grandfather was a Franciscan sacristan. The land on which the church was built belonged to my grandfather's. So we have been linked with the Franciscans for more than a hundred years. We are in Malaysia, it is the Albanian zone of Montenegro. This very region belongs to the Hoti tribe. The border divides the Hoti tribe. One part is in Albania, the other in Montenegro. Four tribes live in this part of Malaysia. The North Albanians are organized in tribes, and this is the Hoti tribe. It means that this part of Tsievna includes the Hoti tribe, then come the Gruda tribe, the Trieshi tribe, and the Koi tribe. All the four tribes are Catholic. Only one house of this tribe went over to Islam during the Turkish rule, the house of a standard bearer. <laughs> Koli Kamai, together with his brothers and with time their families, remained living in the Montenegro-Albania border area from which today almost two-thirds of the population have emigrated in search of a better life. Koli Kamai's strength to survive in these extremely adverse living conditions derives from his family and from their traditional attachment to the church. It is a custom and tradition of all North Albanian tribes, not only of this one here, that a priest, a Franciscan friar, is a special guest. And it is to him that the first chair, the place of honor, belongs when it comes to any kind of family gathering, be it a wedding or marriage or baptism. The place of honor always belongs to him. They are exceptionally respected here, historically, traditionally, and it is for this reason that this religious identity has been preserved. Besides Frano, three other Franciscan priests and several nuns from Tuzi take care of the pastoral life of this small but very active Catholic community. The Archdiocese of Bar, on whose territory Malasia is situated, is one of the oldest in the Balkan Peninsula. It has existed as an archdiocese since 1089. In the past, the Catholic population was significant. However, with time, due to adverse historical circumstances, the rapid propagation of Islam and orthodox pressure, the number of the faithful and consequently the territory of the archdiocese decreased. Today it is under the direct jurisdiction of Rome.
The present bishop, Zef Gashi, came to the Archdiocese of Bar from Skadar in neighboring Albania, where he worked as director of the National Catechetic Institute. At the moment, the Archdiocese consists of 19 parishes. It has about 15,000 believers, 12 priests with two bishops, one retired, the other active. A few structures and buildings and a great desire to survive in these difficult times. Relying on a rich tradition, which this Archdiocese has inherited from the past, it looks to pave the way for its walk towards the future, a rather lucky, a rather sure walk. Growing up in a devout family with a strong prayer life, the little Frano displayed a wish for a priestly vocation. Having received his parents' blessing, Frano Dushai, with less than 14 years of age, went to the seminary in Zadar. Towards the end of the novitiate, the first temptations appeared. To start living as a brother of St. Francis, or a son of St. Francis, or as St. Francis himself, as a young man under 20 years of age. It was interesting to fight, to fight against, I would not say temptations, but rather to fight against the inner forces in a young man. You want to be a good friar, but on the other hand, the world tempts you. As I entered the novitiate, I got called up into the army. When I came from Koshlien, from the novitiate, to take leave of my family, my brother came to me from America, and would you believe it, instead of encouraging me with words to pursue my priestly vocation once the army is over, he offered me everything to leave my vocation of a Franciscan and go to America to become a manager in one of those hotels and restaurants. So this was a fight too, but I conquered my own self very easily. I did not fall for that American bite, for the glory of being a manager, although one is often full of oneself, as is the case with young men of that age. So what I mean is that the foundation we received in the novitiate allowed me to meditate why God is calling and what St. Francis means today. I turned my brother down. You may offer as much money as you want. Thanks a lot, but no thanks. You go back to America, I go back to my friars. After my first Mass, I remained on the island of Rab for some time. The sea, beautiful islands, pastoral. I even started to set up choirs. However, no sooner had I finished the first year than a great need was felt here in Montenegro, in our diocese, in our Franciscan community for me to come. So I cut short my studies and returned with a heavy heart. But I am a Franciscan, a friar. You have to obey as you were taught in the novitiate. And obey I did. I lost more than 40 kilos in two months with all this anguish. And it took me six, seven days to come from Rab to Montenegro. In every town I made a stop of one or two days, so difficult was it for me. But I never said no, I said yes. And when I finally reached 